Hey, Brock, let's stop for something to eat in a little while. Okay, maybe in another half hour. Cool, I've got the snacks in my pack. Maybe Corfish should have some Pokemon food. I have some Pokemon food for it in my pack along with ours. Fish, fish. <laughs> yeah, we'll stop in a little while and give you some food. Corfish. Pico, pico. Corfish, what are you doing? Oh, no. Huh? What was that? Those were our snacks. At least some of them. Corfish. Corfish, corfish. I guess Corfish didn't want to wait for its snack. Oh, brother. Corfish's food may be down in the water. But let's see what we still have for us. We have four bottles of water, grapes, and bread. Now that we don't have as much to eat, we have to make sure everyone gets a fair share. Yeah, we all need the energy, especially with Corfish around. Let's divide the snacks evenly. We each get one bottle of water because there are four of us. You, me, Max, and May. That's easy. But how many grapes do we each get? If there were just four grapes, we'd each get one. But there are more than that. Uh, good questions. Since there are four of us, all the snacks need to be separated into fourths. We each should get one-fourth of the snacks. How do we find what one-fourth of the grapes is? Or one-fourth of a loaf of bread? I bet Ada would know. Let's call her. Hi, Ada. I'm here with Brock. May and Max are with us, too. Would you help us with some questions? Hey, guys. Sure. No problem. Hi, Ada. You're a vision of loveliness. A sight for sore eyes. Uh... Thanks, Brock. What's up? Some of our food fell over a cliff, and now we need to divide up what's left for each of us. I know that since there are four of us, we each get one-fourth of the snacks. That way, May... Max, Ash, and I get the same amount. But how do we find one-fourth of a loaf of bread with more than four slices? Ah! No problem. We'll just come up with different ways you can represent the same amount. It can help you get your snack sharing worked out in no time. That's good. I'm getting hungry. That bread is looking good. W what? Ash? Uh, we'd better get started or there won't be any snacks to share. Okay, then. What snacks do you have? We have bread and a bunch of grapes. Right. Let's start with the bread. Since there are four of you, we could simply divide the loaf into four parts. This way, you'd each get an even amount. You'd each get one-fourth of the bread. But Ada, what about all of the slices? Good question. Let's take a closer look. How many slices do you see in each one of these four sections? Let's see. There are one, two, three, four, four slices in each section. Right. So each person would get four slices. How many slices are there in all? Sixteen. Exactly. Now here's the cool part. The one-fourth of the loaf is exactly the same as the four-sixteenths of the loaf. It's just two different ways to show it. Both show the amount each person gets of the loaf, one in sections and the other in slices. But they are exactly the same. Wait a minute. So you're saying that one-fourth is the same as four-sixteenths? Exactly. They are called equivalent fractions. So... You mean they're equal fractions? Yes. Equivalent fractions are two or more fractions that have the same value but are written in different forms. You can find an equivalent fraction by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same number. Like this. If you multiply one-fourth by four-fourths, which is the same as one, you get four-sixteenths. Or, if the numerator and denominator of a fraction are both divided by the same number, you can get an equivalent fraction that way, too. Okay, I get it. Both fractions represent the same amount, so they are equal fractions. You can show them in a picture or with numbers. You've got it. But, Ada, how does it work with grapes? We're not going to break a grape into fourths. I could just eat them all and we wouldn't have to worry about it. 
Oh, brother! <laughs> Let's take a look at the grapes. How many grapes are there? There are twenty-four. Okay. So each one of you is going to get some part of twenty-four grapes. We can show that like this. In fact, each of you is going to get one fourth of twenty-four grapes. We can write that like this: one fourth equals some amount of twenty fourths. Now we use what we know about equivalent fractions. You can multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number to get an equivalent fraction. So what would we multiply four by to get twenty-four? Uh, six. So I guess we multiply one by six to get the numerator in the second fraction. Six times one is six. So one fourth times six six equals six twenty-fourths. One fourth. And six twenty-fourths are equivalent fractions. Right. Let's take it back to the grapes now. You have twenty-four grapes. Since six twenty-fourths is equal to one fourth, if you each get six twenty-fourths of the grapes, you'll each get one fourth. Now we have four groups of grapes. Each has six grapes in it. Will everyone get the same amount? <laughs> yep. We each get one fourth of the total grapes, which is six grapes. Because one fourth and six twenty fourths are equivalent fractions. You got it. It sounds like you guys are getting close to enjoying that snack. It would be more enjoyable if you were here. Come on, Brock. It's time to eat. Cornfish. Cornfish. Okay. Okay. But wait. Like Ada said, we're getting close, but we've got more to do. Okay, would you help us? Let's do it. We have to find more equivalent. We have to find more equivalent fractions to get these snacks divided right. If we had four grapes for four people, we would each get one grape. What if we had sixteen grapes? The equivalent fraction would be four sixteenths. So if we had sixteen grapes, we'd each get four grapes. If we had four grapes for four people, we would each get one grape. What if we had eight grapes? Click the number of grapes that each person would get, showing an equivalent fraction. Then click the check button. For help, click the hint button. Nice work. Awesome. Awesome. You did it. You guys did great. Are you ready to try a bigger challenge? Yeah, let's do it. See if you can put these fraction snacks into the correct backpack. Using your mouse, aim each snack toward the backpack labeled with an equivalent fraction. Then click to toss the snack into the pack. Ready? Aim and go! Vika, Vika! You did it! You did it! Vika, Vika! Awesome! Vika, Vika! You did it! So now you know all about equivalent fractions. Great! That means it's time to eat. I will be counting the minutes till we speak again. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later, guys. Thanks for your help, Ada. See you later. So, if I understand this equivalent fraction thing, I get to eat all the snacks, right? Pick up, pick up. Huh? <laughs> Just kidding. No sweat. Hey, what's that floating down there? Ah, there's the Pokemon food. 
It fell into the water. Fish, fish. Hey, maybe we can fish out their snacks too. Let's go down to the beach. Let's go. Fish Remember, you can multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number to get an equivalent fraction. Try again. You're finding an equivalent fraction for one-fourth. One-fourth can be written as what over eight? You can show one-fourth in fraction blocks. Try again. You can create two equivalent fractions by highlighting the same amount in the second fraction block. You can write this as two-eighths. Try again. You're finding an equivalent fraction for one-fifth. One-fifth is the same as what over 15? You can show one-fifth in fraction blocks like this. Aim each snack toward the backpack labeled with an equivalent fraction. Then click to toss the snack into the pack. Ready? Aim and go! Keep trying. Aw, oh, too bad. Maybe next time.